Now we all love a, uh, a very, very decent cup of coffee when you're out in the woods. Sometimes it's hard to get um, something that's just your right strength or quality or type that you need. Pour over coffees are the nearest you're going to get to a real coffee using actual coffee bean grounds. Otherwise most of us will put up with either coffee bags, instant coffee or maybe my little uh, Kenko Duo cappuccinos. That, uh, they're good uh, but they're not really an espresso. I like my coffee at home from an espresso machine and froth milk. I'm making my lattes, Americanos and what have you, using proper ground beans in an espresso machine, pumped through a bar so you get a decent crema on the top. Now I do have a Wakako uh, hand press pump that I've had for about seven years now. I got it when it first came out on Kickstarter. And it's great, um, but it is a bit of a pain pumping it, etc. Um, but I've been sent out a new product by a company called Altin. Uh, and basically it is a hand held espresso machine that is powered. This is the product here, it's not massive, you know I've put it in my bag, I've brought all my gear with me, I've carried it, it's not been heavy, this is not for your ultralight campers, but for those people who want a bit of luxury, I've got a chair, you know, I've got my table, uh, I've got a few other bits and pieces with me, I'm not worried about carrying a bit extra weight because I'm not walking miles and miles, I'm doing a hammock camp, I don't want to enjoy it, I want to enjoy a really nice cup of coffee, have my food, chill out and relax. So basically how this works, it, it comes in a pack where you get an option for either um, Nespresso style pods, obviously any pod will fit it, um, or you can use ground coffee and you can tamp it as well. Basically you get a phone box with all the items in there that you need uh, and also a lead to charge it up. So inside here obviously it has a battery, there is a power connector at the rear, USB-C. You charge it up until the lights all light up like so. So on top is the lid and this also becomes the cup. You don't have to use that obviously if you don't want to. Uh, and inside here you unscrew this bottom section and that's where the water pumps through. And in here you have, this is the uh, Nespresso uh, pod holder. So basically you put your Nespresso pods in here, push it down until they pierce turn it upside down, put it in here, then pierces the top, put it inside, screw it on tightly, and then pour the water through. Now there's two ways of doing the water, and this is where this one is a little bit different from others. Uh, you can fill this up with water, turn it on, and it will boil the water, and then when it's finished, it'll pump the espresso out. So you can actually put in cold water, boil it, and pump it from scratch. So you haven't got to bring out a stove or anything. So if you're out on a day trip somewhere, you can just bring this along, make yourself a hot coffee as and when you want to. Um, if you use cold water on this, you'll only get about five or six cups of coffee out of it, which should be enough if you're only out on a day trip, otherwise you'll be off your head. Um, but if you use boiling water, if you put boiling water on the top there, so you're just literally using it to pump the espresso, you can get over 200 cups of coffee out of it. So it's going to last you a long, long time on a camp when it's charged up. So basically you take your espresso pod, put it in upside down, and you press it down so that it pierces the bottom of the capsule. You then place that into the top here, which has got little spikes inside it, and that will pierce the top of the capsule. You then screw it into the base of the machine, nice and tight. This develops about 20 bar pressure, so you've got to make sure that it's very, very tight, otherwise it will push water out from the sides, and then it will pump out an espresso shot straight from the bottom here. I have tried this, it makes a very, very good cup of coffee. Luckily the range has started coming down. Right, so that's the water boiled. So what I'll do now is take the lid off, pour up to the maximum line that's inside here, which is enough to use up for one espresso. Put the lid back on, then with the button you just press this twice and it starts to pour out an espresso. Once it's finished the machine just stops and there you have a fresh camping espresso. I like a longer coffee so I'll make an Americano 
but I've actually got something a little bit special tonight. So there we are. Nice black coffee. So I'm going all out posh tonight and I've actually brought some little milk pouches. Quite cool. So this is in uh, Tesco, 75p for a pack of five, I think it is. So it's got a little foil section on the side, which I think is what you use to open it with. I've done these before. Whoop, yep. There you go. If you don't want a black coffee, get some little milk pouches. Cheers, Elton. That's good. I think I actually probably prefer it black. I had a black one earlier on, it was great. That's lacto free milk, so it might have an effect on it. That's good coffee. So basically, once you're done, obviously, the uh, the top of the water has all been used up by a couple of drips so no need to do anything with that on the bottom here we just unscrew it take the inside out and there's your used pod which will go in my rubbish bag and I'll take home with me so the other option that comes with this you get a little scoop so you can scoop ground coffee in and then you have a tamp as well so you can push it down and get a nice pressure on it and then it's actually got a proper basket filter uh, so that when you uh, use the espresso pump through it it goes through a proper filter basket filter like you have on an espresso machine so it comes out basically the exact same as the pod but the pods obviously are a bit easier to use so if you fancy buying one of these out in espresso makers um, i'll put a link in the description below uh, there is a code that you can use to get 10 percent discount off as well so if you use my code which i think should be nwc10 and um, then uh, you get 10 percent discount so yeah check them out it's a really really decent bit of kit if you like your espresso in the woods